Then in Der Spiegel. Again, more of the same. The NSA has been systematically eavesdropping on the Mexican government for years. It hacked into the president's public email account and gained deep insight into policy making and the political system. Wait, what? Hey, what happened? I thought this was to protect us from terrorists. Is the Mexican president harboring terrorists? Is the president of Mexico a sleeper cell? Well, someone's helping all those uh, Al-Qaeda members pretend they're Mexican when they cross our borders. Called the Tailored Access Operations, a report classified as top secret said the TAO successfully exploited a key mail server in the Mexican pre- Presidencia domain. I guess it's nice that they um, they will sprinkle in Spanish words into the report. <laughs> Presidencia domain within the Mexican presidential network to gain first ever access to President Felipe Calderon's public email account. According to the NSA, this email domain was also used by cabinet members and contained diplomatic, economic, and leadership communications which continue to provide insight into Mexico's political system and internal stability. I bet. The operation, dubbed Flat Liquid, is described in a document leaked by whistleblower Edward Snowden which Spiegel has now had the opportunity to analyze. The U.S. surveillance of politicians in Mexico and Brazil, you'll recall that the Brazilian president, Dilma Rousseff, has also been subject to, to similar spying, centered around Brazil's national policy in regards to its oil reserves. Which, of course, we know is vital to keep us safe from terrorists. It is not a one-off. Internal documents show these countries' leaders represent important monitoring targets for the NSA, with both Mexico and Brazil ranking among the nations high on an April 2013 list that enumerates the U.S. surveillance priorities. The list ranks strategic objectives for all U.S. intelligence services using a scale from one for high priority to five for low priority. Let's go through those five levels of priority, folks, because I imagine finding terrorists should be number one. In the case of Mexico, the U.S. is interested primarily in the drug trade. Hmm. That's not terrorism. The country's leadership. That's a level three. Other lag, uh, flag for surveillance include Mexico's economic stability, military capabilities, human rights, and international trade res- uh, relations, all ranked level three. Oh, here's counter espionage. That's level four. Three things, and there seems to be a bunch tied at level three, more important than terrorism. Level five, I don't know. Secret to making a really good tortilla, maybe. Just more of the same. According to the internal documents, uh, the agency also intercepted 86,000 text messages, some sent by Pina Nieto himself and his associates. Well, that's the new Mexican president. There you go. Brazil now plans to introduce a law that will force companies such as Google and Facebook to store their data inside Brazil's borders rather than on servers in the U.S., making these international companies subject to Brazilian data privacy laws. It goes on and on. Uh, So the NSA, it's protecting us. If our names end with like an LTD or an INC, or if you get huge uh, bonuses as you sit atop uh, the board of directors or the CEO of a major multinational corporation. 